Hey everyone, it is I, your friendly host, um, oops, I don't know what, it is I, your friendly host, uh, Yokusatsu, and, uh, today, welcome to this, what, what episode is this, hold on, what episode is this of the Boku Cast right here, episode, do, 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 do. oh shit, episode 15? Uh, welcome to episode 15 of the Boku Cast. My name's Aaron, and, uh, I'm, I'm your, I'm your guest, or I'm your host of this, I was a guest, I'm your host of this episode, so, yeah, and today, we're just gonna talk about, I'm just gonna talk about what's going on in my life, so, and I wanna say this, I don't, I don't, I haven't watched Samurai yet, I will eventually, just, Right now, I'm just relaxing, taking a watching Toku. Like, right now, like, right now, I'm binge-watching Dragon Ball Z Kai as we speak, and I'm on a Cell Saga, and I'm liking it. I'm liking it, because <laughs> the Cell Saga is my, the Android slash Cell Saga is my favorite saga in Dragon Ball Z, and I like it, and I love it. Well, since day one, but still. And we watching that anime, we watching Kai, bringing back, bringing back my nostalgia and love for Dragon Ball. Because before I got to Tokyo, let's just say that uh, my, uh, well, let's just say about my middle school life and high school life and around, like, what, 2019? Yeah. My middle school life and high school life was all focused on Dragon Ball Z. From the video games, from the movies. Dude, I remember in middle school that, uh, I tried to transform a lot into, into a Super Saiyan or... Or into Frieza's many other form, like, like, like some of my friends asked me, uh, Aaron, what are you doing? Why? Oh, uh, what? Oh, nothing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was, it was pretty embarrassing. I'll be honest. Hey, don't judge me, okay? <laughs> I'm not the only one. I know I'm, I know I'm not the only one who felt who felt like at times that uh they want to transform to a super saiyan with blonde who didn't who, who didn't have blonde hair. That was me in high school. <laughs> not just high school, but uh but 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 which my whole freaking years of being a Dragon Ball fan in general. Do you tell you? I was a Dragon Ball fan all the way through high school. I still am this very day. I just toned it down because of well Around, around like twenty nineteen, I could say around December. I got up I got I'm pretty bored with collecting Dragon Ball stuff. I don't know. Something something around that time just hit me saying, uh Yeah Do I really enjoy do I really enjoy uh do I really enjoy uh collecting all this all this stuff? I mean I love the franchise all, but at the same time do I really Am I really just wasting all this good money that I earned for my birthday and Christmas and all that stuff? Just the race of buying merchandise on one anime? <clears throat> Getting in at the same time, around the time, I was, I, 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 fuck, fuck. <laughs> Getting in at the same time, watching like other anime, like, I would, I would say you could know, My Hero Academia, JoJo, not Attack on Titan, I don't like Attack on Titan. Uh, Oh, that bitch. Soul Eater and Fairy Tale. Yes, I like Fairy Tale. It's one of my favorites. Don't at me. And, uh, yeah, 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 when I was 2019, I got bored with it. And, uh, about that time, that was, about the time, that was when, uh, the Lightning Collection figures for Power Rangers, uh, come out. And, uh, I was really enjoying that line. I was. The first wave, I found I found the first two wave at a local Target. Well, around, around a couple of days after graduation, well, a couple of months after graduation, and my mom told me not to buy no more toys. Yeah, I kind of broke that promise though. Cause I'm still buying toys this very day. <laughs> and uh, the figures I found were were the MMPR right. The MMPR White Ranger and Lord Zed at my target, right? And uh, I remember, and and I remember like, and like a couple of days after graduation, 
I went to a local Walmart with my cousin and my mom and uh, took my little cousin to a toy section so so she could buy something. And I found and I found the Power Rangers selection, Power Rangers section, the Lightning Collection, Shadow Ranger, and Down Charge Red. And I bought those two. I bought them and two like random Marvel Legends because well, why not? And uh, yeah, around like let's just say, let's just say, ever since, ever since I bought like Lightning Collection figure, <coughs> I haven't been focusing on Dragon Ball a lot. I mean, I love Dragon Ball. I still do. But at the same time, still, I'll be honest. It's kind of it's it's actually very tiresome and bored just buying just buying shit off that one franchise. And now, I'm not, and now I'm not the only one who felt this because it's true. God damn it, it was annoying. It was it was it was actually tiresome, you can say. It was it was annoying. But uh hey, but hey, but hey uh I got past it. Yeah, I'm here. So yeah. I love Dragon Ball though, it's just the same time. I just got bored with it. But it's forever though. <laughs> no, not really. Not really. Dragon Ball Dragon Ball so Dragon Ball was so to be part of it. It had, had like a strong impact on me for my high school years. Like no joke. For to my high school years, I was my senior year, I felt like I was Goku. I felt like it, right? It's weird. Because <laughs> people talk about okay. I remember when was this? When was this? Twenty twenty, okay. I remember around twenty twenty I got a little beef with a stop motion YouTuber named Ultron. Ultron two. And uh we were arguing about uh we were arguing about about Naruto the Dragon Ball Z. And uh and uh, I told I told him this in a DM chat one time that uh that that what he said about Goku was wrong. I forgot what I said. And uh, I said I said in a DM chat that uh Goku helped me through my high school years, especially senior year, because really enough, I felt like that Goku was right next to me through my senior year of high school. And yeah, he actually was. He was there in spirit. Because, well, I'll be honest with you, I was the most drippiest person in my high school year, my senior year, I'd say. Your boy was rocking the anime, sh anime shirts, the anime clothes, all that. Hell yeah. It was awesome. It was awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. It was awesome. Around that time, uh, let's just say that uh, before I was before I was named and before I was called the infamous name as, as I am today, Goku Satsu. I used to go by a lot of different names on my Instagram account. I used to the True DBZ King, Stop Motion King. What the fuck was that? What the heck was that? I told you that. Uh, yeah, I'll go, yeah the True Nerd King Deku. The hell? Okay, whatever. I've gone through a lot, a lot of names online. Black Suit Spider Man. That was my, uh, that was my YouTube name, Black Suit Spider Man, a long time ago. I made a video around that time for high school. Well, not high school. Around that time, me and a friend of mine, we, we still talk this very day, but at the same time, he just, I don't know, we talk sometimes, other times we don't talk. Around that time, I made a video talking about respect. I don't know why, but uh, but uh, that video got me a, a grade, got me an A, to my, an A in high school one time. I don't know how, but it did. <laughs> it got me an A in high school, and uh, just I never expected that video of me. I never expected that video of me on YouTube got me an A. And let's just say my uh YouTube, let's just say that uh, my uh teacher were keeping an eye on my social media around that time. Same for my parents. Not anymore. Well, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. I was, let's, let's just say, I was an interesting individual. Let's just say that I was a, sorry I was starting, but let's just say that I was an interesting individual when I was in high school. <laughs> high school life for both who was, high school life for Aaron was, was pretty fun. I can say that. I know people talk about, 
I know people talk about how much they hate that high school life, how much it's annoying. But for me, as a as a special needs kid, I actually enjoyed my my years of high school. It was annoying at times, like it was. I had a few annoying teachers or subs or aides. You know, aides. Don't worry, I don't have. What I meant by aides, I mean like aides that uh, me like me like support. I mean like I mean like uh. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> that could, that gonna sound wrong. I mean, like assistants, assistant like teach assistants, keep assistants that help the teacher. Definitely mean by aides, not like the other type of aides, but you know what I mean. And uh, but uh, but uh, yeah, but yeah, my high school life was pretty fun though. <laughs> it felt like I, was, it felt like I was like in some, it felt like that I was like. In some anime, it's like it's weird though. It's actually weird because the only thing that matched to me for my high school year around that time was anime. Just anime. You want to know when I discovered Dragon Ball Z? It was around when it was around middle school for me. And back then, Dragon Ball Z was not popular when that happened. And uh, I remember I said that. I remember I said that. I remember I said I liked Dragon Ball Z to someone on the bus one time in middle school. And one of my friends said, say, that show's for babies. I'm like, I forgot what I said back to him, but uh, I was like, no, it's not. Like, I'm sorry, but, uh, I'm sorry, but, uh, yeah, no, it's not. Drag <laughs> Dragon Ball Z ain't for babies. <laughs> if you like Dragon Ball Z, good for you. Dragon Ball Z is a good anime. It ain't for babies. Well, I'm sorry. I I tell you, I I have like a lot. I have like a lot of middle school and high school memories I can talk about on this podcast. Some are personal. I'm not gonna talk about others. Are but uh, others are but uh, yeah. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. <laughs> but yeah, but I'm gonna say it, it. It was weird. My high school life felt like I was in an anime. Yeah. <laughs> it really. It's weird, cause like I feel the exact same thing right now. I feel like I'm in some type of isekai, even though, even though I don't even watch like a lot of isekai anime. <laughs> Shout out to Garn, aka Giga, because I know how much he loves his domestic girlfriends. <laughs> hey, yo, trash taste. I'm trash taste. I'm down to be. I'm down to be part of your podcast. I'm down to be a guest in your podcast one day. So yeah. Ah <laughs> oh, man, yeah. But uh. But, uh, sorry, sorry. Back on what I was saying, back on as I was saying, is that, uh, yeah, it felt, it felt like that my high school life, I was, like, in some type of anime, and I honestly don't know why. I can't explain what I had to do. I felt like I was the main character for my high school life, because of all shit. That's just, because of all shit. It felt like it. I made a lot of enemies. I had, like, a lot of suspense and nani what nani moments. I felt like I was some type of anime teenage boy who was well trying to get back to his four year high school. Oh wait what, what I'm saying, I was an anime teenage boy around that time. <laughs> ah man. Ah, man. <laughs> I was an anime teenage boy at times, what I was saying. Anyway <laughs> Anyways, back on as I was saying. Yeah, yeah, my high school life was pretty fun though. But I will say that being a like a senior in high school, it had its benefits. It had its benefits. That was run like my run like my uh junior year of high school. I discovered I had a passion for for editing. For editing stuff like like videos or pictures, well, actually no, just videos. <laughs> I think about think think about that time, think around that time my 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 uh high school life. That's when my uh YouTube channel, before it called Bokusatsu and all that, it was called what what was it? That stop motion king and that and uh don't worry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about my stop motions, but uh. But uh, yeah, yeah. Around that time, around that time, I was, I was, I was somewhat getting a lot of attention in the stop motion community. 
by YouTube, by YouTuber, by by a true by by, by King D by King D and Z, Dragon Now Z, I think name is now. <laughs> Starbreast Studios, Starfire Braid, uh Thundercast Studios, Moose Studio, official not official studio. <laughs> Who else? <laughs> Who else? Who else? <laughs> yeah, Rageful. I t dude, there's so many people. So many people. This one, people. This one, people. <laughs> uh -huh. If it's if it's all about if it's all about my stop motion, uh, my stop motion video, I actually did like a stop motion project for. I actually did like a stop motion video for a school project. You know, it's pretty cool, fun, cheesy, but it's pretty cool. And uh, it was it was something. Let's say it was something. It was fun, and cheesy. That was about a time when I, that was about a time when I actually loved stop motion, <laughs> because my own like YouTube videos were called were basically Dragon Ball Defender. Oh God, I talk about Defender. For for people for people that were fans of that stop motion series, I want to say Dragon Ball Defender ain't coming back. I would love it too, but at the same time, I don't have the passion anymore for stop motion. It just isn't there with me anymore. I wish it was. Sorry, I wish it was, but uh, it just isn't there anymore. And I'm actually glad that uh, I'm actually glad that I stopped because uh, if I didn't, I wouldn't have found my uh, my passion for photography right now. And yeah, yeah, I love yeah, I love taking pictures of toys. <laughs> oh man, but uh, yeah, like I'm saying, it uh, Dragon Defenders ain't coming back. I miss that. I miss that stop motion series. I do. How many seasons did you? Oh yeah, season one, two, three. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I did do season three. There was supposed to be season four multiple times, but uh, but every time, every time I go back to the thinking corner, every time I go back, think about how, think about how I want to do it, this and this. I didn't like it. Season four was supposed to be awesome and climactic. Goku and Vegeta and Tommy fighting Jiren to determine power and all that. Yeah. Tommy training with the mysterious Saiyan to achieve a new Ranger form, the White Tiger form, I'm calling it. And uh, and uh, yeah, and yeah, Gohan Piccolo training. It it was supposed to be pretty cool. It was supposed to be pretty cool. But uh, but uh, it just it just didn't work out. It just didn't work out for me. Also, around that time, also around that time, I just start, I just start, I just start working. And uh, I want to say this: this uh, season four was supposed to happen when when the pandemic began. It happened season four, season four, season four. Dragon Ball Defender was in production when the pandemic officially began, and uh, it just didn't work. Also, one other time, I was a complete hot mess when the pandemic began. I was in my darkest times, I can say, and it wasn't good ones. It it wasn't good ones, to be honest. It wasn't good ones. But uh, there was a saving grace around that time, when uh when I uh when the pandemic was was hurting a lot of people. By the way. By the pandemic is over. The pandemic is still going on to this very day. So just want to clarify that. So please stay safe. Keep your mask. Don't get COVID. Unfortunately for me, I got it. Don't worry. It, don't worry. It's not that bad. It, it's not. It's very really light. It's, it's a light COVID for me. So yeah. So back to saying yeah. Back to saying say, yeah. Season four was supposed to happen around the production. COVID happened, uh, it just didn't work out. There was a saving grace for me when, when the pandemic happened. That was Kamen Rider. The first Kamen show I watched was Build. And uh, I think a lot of people on Twitter already know or knew that I love Build. But uh, here, here, here's why Build special to me. <laughs> when I first watched Build, I, first time, first time, the first time I discovered Build, actually, it was it was before twenty nineteen. It was before twenty twenty. Around like twenty nineteen, we could say when I graduated. It was a couple of days. It was like, it was like what, a couple of months or days, whatever. After I graduated, 
I was walking. I'll take a I'll take a little jog around my neighborhood, and I discover this I discovered this type of music Japanese music is anime on uh on uh YouTube, and it was the beta one. It was ready go, and uh I remember for X Eight it was uh it was uh Justice, and uh what else what else oh, yeah Wish Me the Dark. Those four songs were those four songs were pretty cool. I was like, I was like, okay, what's this? And why is the guy? Why do you look like Power Rangers? <laughs> and uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like the time where I discovered comedy and music. Only those four. Then I forgot about them till twenty twenty until until I saw a build on my uh, recommended feed on YouTube. I watched one episode one time. I, I forgot. I forgot what episode it was. And I said, I thought, eh. Then I sat down, binge watched the whole entire show, and my guy I fell in love with it. I fell in love with it. Your first comedy series is always special to you in your very heart. That's how it is for Bill. Yes, I know. I know. I know. Bill's overrated. Bill's this and this. Listen, listen. We all have that. We all have that one comedy show that's special for us. And that's, we all have that one comedy show that's very special for us. For me, it's Bill. The show helped me through my. The show helped me through the pandemic. <laughs> and after that, after that, after that, I watched Zio. I didn't like Zio. Z. First time watching Zio, I actually got mad and pissed off. I, I, I didn't piss off. I got freaking angry and furious. Really, yeah, I just got fucking angry watching that show. Because after watching it, I was, I was like confused, like, okay, what's this? What's this? What the hell's going on? Keep in mind, keep in mind, this, keep in mind, this was my second comedy show I watched, and uh, yeah, wasn't the best. It wasn't the best though. <laughs> the jink, the 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 opening was. The opening was the opening. Uh, the the opening thing was was what the banger though. It's catchy. I like over chords in it. But uh, but uh, yeah. Besides that, first time watching Zio, first time watching Zio, Geo, Zio, whatever you want to call it. First time watching that show, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. But but lay down the line, I rewatch it like what like what. Like I did I did try to rewatch it while like twenty twenty one. Well, not 2020. Well, not 2020. Well, no. Around like 2020, after I say that, well, I did try to rewatch it around that time, second time, and I rewatch. Still didn't like it. I tried, I tried to get a second chance, didn't like it. Then about 2021, I did like a rewatch of it to try to get like, try to see. Okay, let's see. Can it show me Demon Cell? No, it did not. But, but, there's a but. There are a few things that caught my attention for watching this show. Sogo isn't a bad protagonist. He's just written badly because because the plot, the mainly ninety nine percent of the whole show focused around him, which which wasn't good. The suits are good. I like I like I like the suits. I like I like Zio too. I like Gates Revive. I hate Trinity. That I hate Trinity. That suit's got awful. Uh, the other writers, the other writers, the the, the other the monster design for past Heisei writers. I'm not, the, I'm not a big fan of all of them. I'm not a big fan of them. There are a few, like, I like Ghost, and, uh, fuck. I wasn't saying four, saying five, no. I like Ghost. Ghost, Ghost caught my attention. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, freaking doubles. Freaking doubles who, who, who look like some type of Frankenstein. It's also that. What else? What else? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, uh. I still hate I still hate the idea how Sogo takes the past pow take the power of past Haitian writers and make them forget make them forget about the memories of being a comrade. I hate that idea. It's fucking stupid. Because god damn it, Decade did it way better and yet at the same time so yet same same time Sukasa so didn't write Noah's memories. Just saying. And Oma Zio, yeah, I'll be honest, I got a hot check to say. 
I'm not the biggest. I don't like Omazia. I don't like, I'm not the big fan of the, uh, Omazia. I think I, I gotta say this. For people that complain about Evo being completely useless and and freaking Bill in the final arc, you guys do really that at that freaking Oma is ten times worse. Just saying, like, what is his point? That like, what is Oma Zeal's point of being the show? Just, just for, just, just, for, just, be part of, just for the plot. He's like Evo, but yet way more useless. Just saying, just saying, because. Just saying, like, what is the point of him being, like, what's the point of Omazeo being there? Nothing, just for plot. That's it, just for plot. Just for plot. He just did just for plot because, well, Omazeo just, just, just a giant plot hole. Now, if you're talking about Zeo, I want to talk about this thing. <sighs> I'm not going to, I'm going to, I'm going to tone this down for saying this. So, a couple of days ago, a friend of mine made a tweet on Twitter talking about, talking about why he didn't like Zeo. And uh, let's just say let, let's just say that a lot of people die hard, but her Zeo fans were being annoying about it. Did not like what you say, and um, uh, I want to say something about that. I get my two cents. I I I would get my two cents on people. Sorry, sorry about that. Hold on. My cord is ringing. I would get my two cents on Twitter about this, but I want to say it here. Just because someone else doesn't like the same show as you, that doesn't give you the right to harass them, or that does that doesn't give you the right for you to be a complete hypocrite, contradict yourself while treating something. If you know who I'm talking about, then you know who I'm talking about. Because well, let's just say because of that I got blocked by a certain someone because well, because well, they'll be insecure. So anyway, back on saying is that yeah, Omen Zio is just a Omen Zio is just a just a worthless plot device. Like, no offense. If you like him, that's fine, you can like him. He got a cool suit. But the character but the character is kinda of worthless. Worthless. Like like Zio makes no sense as a show. I there are few there are a few times that the show try to make a story, but at other times it just doesn't. It just doesn't. It just doesn't. It just doesn't. Uh, oh god. <laughs> oh god. This I don't, I don't want to say this. This podcast is just random, so keep that in mind. So I want to talk about my uh, I want to talk about something that I thought about last night. Lately, I have been lately my mind have been my my mind have all, a lot of thoughts about about uh, love. We can say, <laughs> and now I say this. I'm not the master. I'm not. I want to say this. Sorry about that. I'm not the master of love. Oh hell no, I'm not. I'm not the master of love. <laughs> I want to say this, but uh, lately I've been thinking about. Lately, I have been feeling. Can I say jealous? Yeah, I've been feeling jealous because lately, uh, I've been seeing a lot of my friends. I've been seeing a lot of my friends hang out with with their girlfriends, and I'm over here and saying, one day, one day that's gonna be me. It hurts. It actually hurts, but I'm not gonna lie. It actually hurts because as much I'm happy for them, it just it just it just feel like a punch in the it just feel like a punch in the freaking heart, in the face to me, which is why, which is, which is why which is why I don't like Valentine's Day because of that reason. Cause I fucking hate it. But it just reminds me how it just reminds me how alone I am that day. It just feels like oh ho ho, oh ho 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 ho. Oh ho 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 ho, Aaron! You, you got a girl you like? Well, I'm sorry to do this, but uh, but uh, sorry to do this to you, but uh, you got no one. You got, you got, you got like no girlfriend. I'm like, oh yeah, thanks, Cupid. <sighs> I swear, now that day just feel like a big giant milk finger to me, and I, I don't like it. It hurts though. I want to experience love one day. I want to know how I feel to find out. Find out 
finding someone who, who I want, I want to know how I feel to find that one girl that, that well, that well, I would say it looked like you know, but uh, but she shared the she shared somewhat the same she shared at the same interest as you. I said this on uh, I said this last night to myself before I'm going to bed, but uh, I wouldn't be mad if I find a, if I find an Asian girl that is uh well. That is uh, <laughs> this is gonna sound weird for me to say, or I can want to say I'm not being racist for saying this, but uh, I wouldn't be mad if I find like. Like some type of girl that that uh that uh well <laughs> matter of fact no 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 I'm not gonna finish that sentence I'll keep it to myself sorry about that but uh but uh, what but uh sorry for me saying that I'm gonna say this it's gonna hurt yes but at the same time faith always has something in store for all of us and uh, well. I have a feeling that Faith has something in store for me very soon next year. Whoever she is, I can't wait. I can't wait to get to know her because I have a feeling that I have a feeling that she's gonna be the best thing that happened to me next year. <laughs> but right now, I'm okay waiting. So yeah, I'll just I'll just I'll just continue falling in love and sympathy for Saint on Jasmine. <laughs> ah. Ah oh, man, <laughs> ah oh, man, we have fun. Uh, we have fun today on here. Well, tonight it's it's like what? It's almost nine thirty over here, uh, Eastern Standard Time. So yeah, but uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Lately, I have been uh, lately while lately while I've been in quarantine, I have been uh I have been doing I have been studying on I have been studying on what to do. In Japan, you could say. Lately, I've been talking about Japan Twitter. I can explain why. Uh, let's just say that uh, in the future, Boku Bokusatsu will be going to Japan. I won't say when or where. I won't say what year. But in the future, Bokusatsu will be going to Japan. So, yeah. But, uh, but yeah. But, yeah. Lately, I, l lately while, l lately when, uh, Actually, that lately I've been quarantined. I said I got COVID. Oh, my family is still recovering. We're doing good. I got like COVID. They uh, they they did me sadly. I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get my full I'm not, gonna, not gonna get our full business though. But uh, yeah. But uh, because of that, I've been taking advantage of this time to I've been taking advantage of my quarantine and uh, playing video games, studying my Japanese. Trying to learn how you freaking chopsticks like freaking I have two for, two for Pete's sake I have like two chopsticks right, right next to me I got these from a friend in high school and I try to use them at times and uh I suck at using chopsticks <laughs> yo I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry but uh oops sorry I'm sorry but uh, for real though I suck at using chopsticks and uh that's gonna hurt a lot that's gonna hurt. A lot. <laughs> Boku sucker you can chop this. So I don't know. Maybe Japan. Maybe I don't know. In the future, ah, no, this is. In the future, when I go to Japan, I'm going to use a fork. But uh, probably no. I probably won't. But who knows? I have a feeling that uh, I have a feeling that. Uh, Stop studying, Aaron. Sorry. I have a feeling that I will be pretty good at using chopsticks. Besides, uh, let's just say that uh, <laughs> I made a joke with my aunt saying that uh, I made a joke with my cousin and aunt saying that uh, say uh, when we go down to Japan one day, Boku's going to uh, find some Japanese girl his age. <laughs> and let me say this: here's the thing, uh. Japanese, uh, Japanese girls love foreign guys. They do, they do, and that's not it's, that's that's not even a lie, by the way. It's true. It's it's that it's actually true. You know, you, because like, ah, oh, shit, I I can't. Okay, I can say this. <laughs> love is love, and I say this multiple times. I'm down for an international relationship. Interracial as well? Fuck yeah, that also 
that I also I also I'm also down with that in my book. I asked for that in my book, by the way. I wasn't saying like that. No, but I'm down with interracial or international relationship. I love that stuff. I even tweeted about it. I even tweeted about that on Twitter one time in Japanese. I don't know why I felt like it. Don't at me. And uh, yeah, I'm down for an international relationship. <laughs> because, well, who knows? Who knows? Maybe, maybe my soulmate will be, maybe my soulmate will be, well, Asian. Well, pfft. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind if my. I wouldn't mind if she's Asian because well, because well, because well, I like Asian girls. That's just me. I like Asian girls in general. So yeah, don't at me. I have a thing for them. I like Asian girls since like well, shit. When did I discover my love for Asian girls? I think twenty twenty with Tokusatsu. Yeah, twenty twenty. Yeah, fuck. It was twenty twenty when. It was twenty twenty when uh. When I first got the Kamen Rider in a uh, Sentai and Ultra Man. <laughs> well, actually, actually, yeah. Yeah, it was 2020. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you. I'm telling you that, uh. <laughs> that, uh. That, uh. My. My love. My love for Asian Girl. Didn't. My love for Asian Girl didn't happen around like 2020. <laughs> and now I love them. And I. And I said that, that I'm down for it. I'm down for it in a natural relationship. Like for real though, I am. I am. I'm actually down for that stuff. Because well, it's cool, it's wholesome, it's adorable, and it's awesome. It actually yeah, but all real though. Real though. Seeing two people from two different country or states or region, whatever, finding finding a deep passion for a look deep passion connection for each other that that's that's really that's love that's love right there and I want to experience that one day don't know when but I have but one day will I like that <laughs> sorry sorry got like a little emotional there but I did say that I did say that uh I did say that uh I'm going to this episode this episode's random if this, if this, like, if this, like, video gets, like, I don't know, let's say, okay, if this video gets, like, 50 likes, or, like, yeah, if this video, if this video gets, if this video gets, if this video gets, fuck, if this video gets up, like, to 50 likes or somewhat, yeah, 50 likes or 100 or 1,000, I'll release, like, an, I'll, I'll release, like, another episode of this podcast really soon, I guess. <laughs> but, hey, but, hey, it's fine. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's just nice, it's just nice to, uh, just to talk about, just talk about this stuff on this podcast. <laughs> because, well, I never expected that a lot of people want to hear my thoughts about, hear my thoughts about, about random stuff, but, uh, yeah, I don't talk about just Toku, so, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Toku, uh. The main reason why the samurai, maybe if I have, maybe if I haven't touched samurai yet, because well, I do because well, okay. I said this multiple times, but uh, when I watch the Toku show, it just drains a lot out of you. At times, at times, I do this. At times, I'm torturing myself from watching these shows back to back to back to back. Most for combat because I, when when the pandemic happened. I binge watched every comedy series for quarantine. I had some good ones, I had some bad ones, national the right ones. And uh yeah. And uh yeah, 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 that was yeah, that was it. <laughs> Back then, uh my first my first comedy figure art was that's a figure art specialist in comedy build. I I bought the model kit for the figure art and I'm sorry I bought the figure art. I still have it this very day, but uh, my first copy lost the rabbit bottle, so I had to go buy a brand new one off Amazon. I did, and then and yeah, yeah, it's still there. <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> let's just say that uh, let's just say one at a time that uh, I'll get a combo. I'll try and see. I'll try and see what combo toys I can buy, and then uh. 
I bought well, one twenty twenty. The comic figures I got was Zio, Holes, Cross Build, Neo Decade, Best Selection Build. What else? What What else did I got? Oh yeah, Comrade Vulcan. Now, if you see my comic collection behind me, I'm sorry you can't, but if you did, boy, my collection grew out these past two years. <laughs> like, no joke. My collection, oh, so, my mic. No, no joke. My collection grew out these past two years for being a tour collector slash photographer. If you want, if I want to know, Roku, what website do you, what website do you use to buy your toku toys? Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Alright. So, hear me out. Buying figure arts are expensive. <laughs> you may find a few with good deals, okay, but uh, buying figure arts are expensive. <laughs> Especially in the Japanese market, they do. For peace sake, I use Ami Ami for buy, to buy like pre owned figure arts. I, 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 I use like Mandarake or Ami Ami or Harvey Genki or Nin Nin or Tokyo Lectables. Hell, Amazon as well, regular Amazon. I only use Amazon in Japan, never did. I use those websites to buy like Toku toys for Kamen Rider. For like, and, and they, I want to say this, for Lightning Collection, at times, well, I no, I get lucky. I get, I get lucky find them. I get lucky find them in person. Hell, actually, yeah, actually, yeah, actually, yeah, actually, yeah. I found, I found like all my space figures in person, except for, except for, uh. Except for Andros, I found him. Uh, I bought him off. I bought him off Amazon while twenty twenty while watching his space cover. Well, twenty twenty that was when Netflix took Power Rangers off their streaming service every season. Sadly, except for Super Ninja Steel and uh, Donald Charge. Well, I know Beast Morpher have it all the time. Except for two Beast Morpher, don't like only two that were on there. So yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah. I mostly find I mostly find like my lightning collection figures in person. If I can't find them in person, I'll just go online and find them. Like, like I like for real. I went to Big Bad Toy Store. I bought I bought freaking Zato because well I couldn't find him while my local Walmart Target. I found I found my local Target now had two Zeo Cogs. I want them, but I'm gonna wait till December comes around for my birthday. So so I go to Target and go pick them up. But uh yeah, but yeah, I mostly find my I most I mostly find my like I mostly find, ah, fuck I can't talk sorry I mostly get I most of the time get get my like collect figures online. That's what I do. I mostly do that because well, mostly I get lucky at times. At other times I don't get lucky. But yeah, I mostly use, like my shopping for for like Toku toys online. If I get lucky, finally finally send it. If I get lucky, find like a new light collecting figure, then that's good. That's good. That's actually good. But at times, I I mostly use online shopping because where I live, where I live, dude, it's hard to find Toku toys. We don't sell comrade. We don't sell comrade toys over here. No, that Power Ranger stuff. But at the same time, same time, I'm mostly I'm mostly trying to find light collection figures. So yeah. <laughs> If we talk about figures, I want to say this. I don't think I think someone's gonna ask me this in the future, but uh, someone's gonna ask me, Broku, Broku, what's your Broku? Why, why do you only take pictures of figure arts in Lightning Collection? Okay, that's not true. I also take pictures of Mayfix at time and Marvel Legends, but uh, just Marvel Legends isn't part of my brand. Wait. When I think of Boku Satsu, I don't think of Marvel Legends. I think of I think of I think of shows like Power Rangers, Sentai, Ultraman, Kamen Rider, and other Tokusatsu genres. Else, Marvel Legends, I don't Marvel Legends, I don't think about I don't think about I don't think about Marvel Legends when the name Boku Satsu appears. But uh, but uh, if you guys want if you guys if you guys want like if you guys like ah, if you guys want like more like Marvel Legends content on my channel, just tell me. Put in the description and I'll do it. So yeah. But uh, the but, uh, the main reason why maybe why maybe why I don't take pictures of, of like figure art like collection because 
I prefer I prefer taking a picture with a figure that's fully posable, that that someone not, that that doesn't have like a lot of limitations. Yeah, figures have figure and like collection have the limitation of time for posing, but yeah, at the same time, I may find a loopy hole behind that for taking pictures of the figures. It's just I don't. It kind of feel weird for me to take pictures of like, like, like what? It kind of weird for me to take like pictures with like a solo, even though. Listen, if you listen, listen. If you want to be a tour photographer, go ahead. I see no problem with it. If you like, if, if, if you have like solo figures, go ahead. I'll I'd love to see that. I have a friend. I have a few friends that I have a few friends that collect so solo figures. One of them, one of them is a photographer, and uh, he take really good pictures. He take really good pictures with them. I'm not. I don't want to collect shoulders because I hate stickers. I do. I freaking hate stickers. The last figure art, the last like, the last like mob kit I took, the last like mob kit I built that had a sticker was was like the Deno one. And I fucking hated that. I fucking hate that. He hate stickers. Shout out to Team Comrade for sending me that mob kit. Cause I won the prize one time. I won the like contest. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I have that I have that model kit in the background on my shelf. So yeah. But uh but I but uh background saying is uh I hate stickers and uh I wanna buy a show though, but uh yeah no. Although there's one show though set that caught my attention. It's the uh super, it's the what what was it called? The super show X set that has that has Fang Joker, Double Extreme, and Actual Trial. So they look like mini figure arts, and I'm down to buy that set. I'm down to pre-order that set. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait before I do that. Speaking of double stream, I do want to go buy. I do want to go place a pre-order down for SA figure art, but just at the same time, I'm going to wait till I. I'm going to wait till I find for a cheaper price next year on Ami Ami somewhere. So yeah. Before I get. I talk, I talk about that say figure and Koku say how double screen. So yeah. I will do review that figure. But again, I'm gonna wait till I find out on Ami Ami low and wait for the price lower down on it. So yeah. I did the same thing for decade for decay complete form. So I'm gonna do the same thing for uh double screen. So back up say so back up say yeah. Listen, if if you have like if you have like a freaking shoulder figure, go ahead and take pictures. I'm down to see your work as a photographer. I'm at here because well, a lot of people have been getting the photography game, and a few people ask me, hey, hey, uh, hey, uh, what do you, what do you recommend, what do you recommend, or what do you do for like taking pictures all day? I'm like, listen, listen, if I, listen. You don't need like a big fancy setup to take pictures. No. If you have like a phone or good, if you have like a, if you have like a phone or somewhat decent lights, use that. For me, I have like I have the I have the cheapest setup for taking pictures. No joke, I actually do. For my pictures, I use like these two LED lights I got from Five Below. I use my camera as well. And I, and that's my setup. The background, the background, the background, the background is a stream set I bought off Amazon. So yeah, I'm planning. I'm planning on buying a brand new stream set eventually one of these days. Just don't know what it is. It's probably the alley. It's probably the alley set. The stream set background. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Anyway, <laughs> back on saying. Back on saying is yeah. Uh. Yeah, if if you want to get the tour, if you want to get into the tour photography game, go ahead. I'm not gonna stop you. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm down to see your work. I'm down to see your work. I'm at it down. I love photography. I'm trying to find your boy. Your boy Luke is trying to find a photography job in general, because well, right now, well, right now, I'm not the biggest fan of my current job, but uh, hey, whatever. At least making good money there. So yeah. But uh, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> if anyone look, if if anyone's looking for like a tour photographer, hit me up. D 
Um, I'll put my I'll put on my description for my social media. I'll put on my social media in the description. You can talk to me there. We can sort something out, I guess. So yeah. <laughs> Sub hats, bro. I'm down. I'm down to take pictures. I'm down to take pictures for your for your lightning collection figures, because well, yeah. You guys been you, you guys have been you guys. You guys been like you guys been like getting like Marvel Legend collector take pictures for Marvel Legend. Why not Lightning Collection? I'm just saying I'm down. I've been trying to contact you guys for for days or ages or for for years. But oh yeah, no no joke. This oh yeah, I've been trying to get Hasbro attention on that. And, uh, they've been ducking me, yo. And that's breaking my heart. I can't okay buy that, but uh, yeah, but yeah, but you no, know, for real though, they have been avoiding me. It's like, it's like that, you know? It's like that. Shake my head. Anyway. <laughs> Shake my head. What the fuck? Anyway. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, where you go, bro? Anyway, anyway, yeah. Aye, aye. Aye, aye, it's funny. It's just funny, that's all. It's just funny. It's just funny. It's just funny. So, yeah, I I have I have I have I have nothing to say though. Damn, that's just wow. We talk we talk about a lot of good stuff. Uh, we, we talk we talk about we talk about a lot of good stuff on here. Uh, Toku, my origin of my origin of me, my my origin of my high school self. Well, well, my origin of me becoming Boku. Well. I don't know. I I don't know. I haven't talked about my origin of me becoming a movie star. Okay, so uh, so so why did I become a Bokusatsu? You want to know? Okay, so around like twenty twenty one, uh, one of the time I got a comrade. I got a couple of people harassing me on my Instagram DMs, asking me, "Hey, hey, 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 you're a DBZ account and you only post a comrade. What's up with that? What's up with that?" And I called him out saying that my account I can do what I can do what I want with it. So I decided, so I had a check with so I had so I had like a little chat with a friend of mine and uh he convinced me and I uh, and I decided, you know what? I need a new name that, that I can stay from now on because well, with this new name I'll get a, a lot of people a lot of people recognize me in some way. And yeah, I'm get yeah, and yeah, this yeah, me calling myself Boku, a lot of people are recognizing me with that and I love it. So I started naming myself Bokusatsu. And why Bokusatsu? Okay, so fun fact. Here's fun fact. The name Bokusatsu, I got that from Markusatsu himself. And uh if on a time, one a time, I one time one a time, I watch, I watch like all the history of comedy videos. I wanna say, hey Markusatsu, uh, uh please respond to my DM message on Instagram because about you ghosted me. I want I want to be in your history of build video, but yeah, you just ghosting me, dude. What the heck? Just saying, you just ghosting me. I guarantee you won't see. I guarantee he won't see this video. So yeah. But uh, but uh, back on, but uh, back on as back on as I was saying. <laughs> Sorry, back on as I was saying is that uh. Is that uh, the name Bokusatsu came from this? The first, the first three names for my name, the first three letters for my name, for my last name, Brown, B R O. I took those and added with with the word Satsu, and uh, I became. I know, the first three letters of my last name, Brown. I took the I took out the T O from Toku. Named Boku, and I decided to add the word Satsu to it, and uh, and 
my name is the game. Well, Roku Satsu. The guy, as you know, who is today. And uh, yeah, I like it. I like and I, and I like that. I'm getting a lot. I'm getting a lot of people recognize me, and, and I met, met like a lot of people in this community too. Like for real, like for real. You have no idea how humble I am when people when I get recognized in the community. <laughs> it's cool. I met. I, I met. I met. I met. I met a lot of fucking people. I met like a lot of cool photographers too. Being a t in the toy in the toy community, toy community, a lot of cool people. Some some not so nice people. Some meh. Others, yeah, no. Some other people that I don't trust, they don't trust me, so whatever. But yeah, but yeah, I met, I met, I met, met a lot. I met like a lot of cool people in the community, like fuck, uh, X Men, uh, Mister Cool Dude, not Mister, uh, Mister Retro, my friend Kyle, uh, Token Color Bass, uh, who else? Who else? <laughs> Freaking Inferno, a few, a few, a few of my, a few of them. I know, I know, I know, a lot, a lot of other Tokyo homies that, uh, a lot of Tokyo homies that, uh, that are, that are cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Being a community, ha being a community, is pretty cool though. I will say that. I met, I met a lot of cool, I met a lot of new faces, a cool faces. I met a lot of new faces. And familiar faces as well. It's pretty cool. Cool. I love being for talking music. It has ups and downs, but yeah, I like it. A lot of people feel a lot of people give me a lot of good wholesome vibes. Not all, but but hey, to me, but hey, it's whatever. <laughs> I will say that uh because I will say that that uh, it's crazy because if you don't know, I also I don't know, I was like in two episodes of the Bugs and Podcast. And uh, I was on the boys episode when I was on the boys episode with when, when, when my friend Gary and uh and Mr. Cooper ninety two, aka Vaughn and uh to be honest, first time meeting Vaughn and face to face through the camera, through a computer, pretty cool. He's a cool guy. He's awesome. he's pretty awesome. He's ho he's a nice guy. He's actually a really nice guy. He's funny on Twitter too. Go subscribe to Vaughn. Vaughn I'll put I'll put uh Vaughn's channel description. He's a cool guy. <laughs> He's a cool guy. But uh but uh yeah. But uh yeah, uh today on this pot today on this random episode of the Blue Crew cast, we talk about my origin, how my origin of Blue Kusasu being an anime nerd to to the guy who is to the guy who is today. We, I give I give you I give people helpful tips about being a photographer. I talk about my life, talk about talk about things, talk about things I want to do in the future and all that. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do more. I think I think I'm gonna do like more of these type of these type of podcast stuff. These type of podcast ways. Well, well, I think I'm gonna do more like. I think I'm gonna do more like me talk about me talk about talk about what talk about what the heck going on, what, what the heck going on with my life and all that. Got all shit. You guys like it, PLA, so yeah. And uh, yeah. Thank, thank, thank you all for watching and listening. My name's Aaron. I put all my description. Put all my, I put all my links to my social media in the description as well. Please, uh, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying, I'm trying to have one thousand tour, a uh, tour twenty twenty two. So twenty twenty three gets here. The boys trying to hit. The boys trying to hit one thousand uh subscribers. Till 2023 gets here, please follow my social media description. And uh, yeah, my name is Aaron, and I'm out. Have a good night.